off the back of that great trailer video we had yesterday, we've got a little bit of a blog post. Oh, fair enough. Giants to keep on rolling with this. So it's entitled Weather Change Twisters and Hail with a Chance of Fog. Oh, fair enough. So in Riverbend Springs, the multiple other locations around the world, the weather is predicted to change more often. As we look at darkening clouds in the sky, listen to the wind. The farmers closing in, one can notice clear signs that some weather is on the way. Now, honestly, we had that screenshot blog post the other day where it's got this picture on, but yeah, th this weather effect looks absolutely brilliant and it carries on an august summer night local farmers and residents are encouraged to take general precautions but first learn more in the following weather report and don't forget to pre-order farming simulator 25 coming out on november the 12th now they sort of carry on it a little bit with a like a news report yeah because it's like got some it feels like some interviews with some local farmers which I think's ace. So it's got carries on. A twister in the air. Farmers feel it everywhere. On a glory night the, where the children of tomorrow dream away, farmers might notice the winds changing. We're expecting a light twister to touch down in a few areas. It shouldn't be anything too severe, but it's always wise to take precautions and secure any unroofed bales just in case. Yes, so things are going to start flying around. I mean, obviously, I'm from the UK. We don't really have tornadoes, mind you. But if you're in an area that does, yeah, you'll know what it's like when it gets going. So it carries on. Hail is coming. Bales are closing in. Some hail is also predicted to hit. The good news is, after these brief disturbances, the skies will clear up and we'll see the sun shining brightly once again. This weather event will pass and we'll be back to calm and sunny conditions before you know it. Yeah, come after the storm. That's always great. So watch the crops, the trees and the bales. Once the storm passes, local farmers are advised to inspect their fields for any destruction and assess the impact of their crops. While Twister fans may observe the weather spectacle from a safe distance, farmers cannot afford to be careless as all weather events bear the potential to destroy a portion of the crops. Now, obviously, we've seen this in some of the screenshots out and in the video that came out yesterday. After the tornado came down, there's a bit of the field that was, yeah, <laughs> not like it was before. <laughs> oh, that's all. I mean, from the immersive point of view, that is just absolutely brilliant. I mean, if you're looking to get your crop in, yeah, and you lose a load, that's not so great. But just for the whole aesthetic immersiveness of it all, it's ace. And now it carries on with the interview style. It says, in Riverbend Springs, we caught up with newfound farmer David, 36. When all the other farmers were running around doing stuff to prepare, I did not think very much of it. I'm pretty new to all this, you know. Having learned his lesson, the former white-collar worker lost about half of his crops on a rather tiny plot and all of his bales left out in the open. Even my shed got damaged, he added, looking rather sad while proclaiming that Mother Nature added insult to injury relative to a way bigger field sizes other farmers got off lightly in comparison now that said right it's bales left out in the open got thrown around does that mean bales are going to get launched in the air when a tornado comes around that's that that'll be interesting to see I must admit. And meanwhile, the local lumberjack and forester of Riverbend Springs was not available for comment while tending to dead trees that were affected by the storm. Some of us carry out essential duties. I must insist you grant me solitude while I tend to my fallen companions, he said in a grumpy tone, before adding, I observe your cameraman indulging in refreshments. I strongly suggest you refrain from littering in the forest as you depart. It really is like an interview with some grumpy locals. Oh, fair enough. So, Watch for this sunrise for peace of mind. Instead, we got hold of a retired farmer, Walter, who shared his perspective of the recent weather changes. Good weather always follows bad weather sooner or later, says the 72-year-old farmer, reflecting on the shifting conditions. Don't know where all that thick fog suddenly comes from, though. Probably brought in with the wind of change. When asked if he had any more farming wisdom to impart on the weather, Walter had a classic reply, let's take a rain check. We'll be revisiting Riverbend Springs in November to see how the weather has impacted the local farming community. Maybe you want to visit yourself and ask the locals for some questions. That's interesting. Ask the local questions. Does that mean we can interact with some NPCs? 
Oh, oh, indeed. I mean, the more stuff that comes out, you know, more blog posts, more videos, whatever, it's just looking better and better and better. This game is going to be absolutely awesome when it comes out. And obviously it comes out on November the 12th. And if you're on PC and you fancy picking up a digital copy, there's a link down below. Click on that. It helps the channel out at no extra cost to yourself. And obviously it's coming out on PC, Mac, Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5. So if you've got old school, old gen, PS4, Xbox One like me, you're going to need to have a bit of an upgrade.